Well, Paul has gone off to see his family. I have been let loose on my own and I've come to one of my old haunts. Bowling Green and Battery Park. Now in the background, you can probably just make out over that shoulder, that is the, uh, the Woolworth building. Yes, indeed, named after the Woolworth supermarket dynasty. So let's take a little look around the park. sure who this guy is. He looks a bit like Kim Jong-un with goggles on. Statue of Giovanni Verrazzano. I guess the Verrazzano Bridge is named after this guy. The Statue of Liberty in Hudson Bay at the mouth of the Hudson River. There are various cruises that you can take from Battery Park. There is the Circle Line, which takes you the whole way around to the island of Manhattan. There's also authorised tours of the Statue of Liberty, Liberty Island and Ellis Island. And there is also, well, I suppose you could say it's the one last remaining free gem on almost anywhere in the world for public transport. And that is the Staten Island Ferry. You could visit the Castle Clinton National Monument. No relation to Bill and Hillary. Well, it says here that Castle Clinton was the last of a series of forts which from the Dutch settlement of 1624 guarded Lower Manhattan. You're never too far away from the skyscrapers of downtown Manhattan. Oh, a fountain. The perfect place to cool off on a hot day. Well, I'm not stripping off, but it seems that you can just go in fully clothed, like these lovely ladies. Ooh, I just got splashed by that sprinkler. It feels rather nice, actually. Let me move along. And you can see one of the uh, the city cruises there boarding Miss New Jersey. Oh look, there is the Staten Island Ferry coming into dock. Now, I'm hoping to go on a little trip, so hopefully I will make this sailing heading out. I'm not sure quite far how long I have to walk and it is moving rather fast but it's completely free and if I do miss this one there will be another one along shortly ok 
Okay. Seem to be a few other people wanting to get the ferry, so hopefully I'm going to get on board. I see people moving. Hopefully that's a good sign. Wow, there's quite a crowd. Actually, that's everyone who's disembarking over there. So, I'm at door one. They'll not let anyone on until everyone's off. And we are on the move. First sight of the ferry, orange, of course. Very distinctive. And of course you just walk on board, there's no charge. On board now. I'm on the uh, the lower decks, just having a, a walk around. We'll probably go up on deck afterwards, after I check this out. So I've walked the whole length of the ferry. And outside now, you can see the Statue of Liberty to the right hand side. And we'll be heading out in that direction and then veering over to the left towards Staten Island, which of course is one of the five boroughs of All New York. Up to Hurricane Deck. Sounds a bit ominous. So you get to see the sights and enjoy a breeze through your hair or lack of hair and just enjoy this absolutely free trip in New York. So there's the ferry that we saw when we came into dock and Manhattan, Lower Manhattan in the background with the World Trade Center building right in the middle. Well, the Staten Island end of the journey seems to have improved a lot since the last time I was here, which was, let's face it, it was probably about 15 years ago. Uh, there's a modern terminal building. There are shops and restaurants. I see an old Navy outlet and I need some shirts, so I think that is my next port of call. Thank you for watching our show today. You must be liking it so far. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please subscribe.
That piece of land behind us is called Little Island. Land, you say? It looks as though it's on stilts. Okay, so this is like an old pier that has been repurposed for greenery, which, ah. is, which is what this city is renowned for doing. You're renewing itself all the time. So my sister mentioned this to me and then I thought, funny, I have never heard of this before and Behold, it looks absolutely amazing. There's like so much greenery and it is a really great way to escape the heat and get closer to nature, I think. Let's go take a look then. We picked the perfect day to come, don't you think? Yes, we certainly did. Early morning start. Well, it's best in the warmer months to go out and about in the morning. Uh, it's a little bit cooler. And they also set for Little Island to come before 12 o'clock. Otherwise, you will have to make a reservation, especially on the weekends. Oh, because it gets that busy. And I suppose it's a very small space, really. And Very it small. Could get overcrowded. Shall we climb up these steps? Careful. Hello, pigeon. <laughs> Suppose they hold performances here. You've got all the seating. You've got all the the lights rigged up. Oh, I do like this kaleidoscope up here. And you can walk on so many different levels. Look, there's Paul. There's Marcus. Look at this. This is gonna get me very sleepy. So the land across from here is in New Jersey and this is the Hudson River look there's Marcus coming up them stairs now oh I'm gonna get out of breath soon why don't you go have a wee seat over here? Oh. I think I'm gonna get a sunburn. Good thing I brought some sunscreen. Yeah. So 
So these are all Chelsea piers, are they? So it looks as though that behind us there's some sort of construction work going on to perhaps redevelop another one. Well, we've reached the southwest platform and behind us is the mouth of the Hudson and you've got two states behind us here. On Paul's side you've got New Jersey and on my side we've got New York and way in the distance is the Verrazano Bridge and you can tell us a little bit about that, can't you Paul? So the Verrazano Bridge connects Brooklyn to Staten Island. So Marcus, what did you think of Little Island? Yes, it's fabulous. What a great addition to the attractions in New York. So this is a lovely place in Chelsea. watching our show today if you like what you see then please like comment and subscribe keep watching